Hello, my name is Muhammad Sharif, and today I would like to be talking about this uh, article that I found in the Washington Post. This uh, article was written by Sean Boger and published from December 16, 2021 at 5.49 p.m. This article is about uh, the Astral World Music Festival incident. Um, it was in Houston and it happened a couple of months ago. Uh, over 10 uh, people uh, died in this event. Um, what happened? Well, after reviewing this article, I, it had to be the most craziest thing that ever happened in, no uh, in November 5th. Uh, um, so, to summarize this, it's about, uh, let's just say that 10 people uh, died from the crowd. And it is said that, and people said, the officials said that they were squeezed so tightly that they lost their ability to draw a breath. Um, the Scott Harris Institute of Force Forensic Science, an agency that kind of that conducted uh, autos, autopsies, announced that uh, the cause of all the ten deaths was compression asphyxia, a phenomenon that experts say can occur when crowds become dangerously dense. The announcements add uh, clarity to how the November 5th festival headline by performer Travis Scott and attended by more than 50,000 people turned into one of the deadliest concerts in the nation's history. Uh, the victims range from an age uh, nine-year-old Ezra Blount to 27-year-old Danish Beg. Uh, the medical examiners that uh, said that the contributing cause in Big's death, uh, the 27-year-old, was uh, to was toxic effects of uh, cocaine, methamphetamine, and ethanol. Um, th but however, like the rest of the the rest of the deaths, they had no factors. They they had no like drugs in in their body. Um, so a dozen of lawsuits has been uh, filed in the aftermath of this tragedy, and a criminal investigation is ongoing. Uh, the, a Washington Post investigation found that at least seven of the ten who died were concentrated in one small area of the audience that was surrounded on three sides by rigid metal barriers. The Post subsequently confirmed that another victim Baharti uh, Shahani was also in the same area of the South Quadrant, bringing a total of at least eight. The, the post investigation based on dozens of videos, interviews, witnesses, and analysis by crowd experts also revealed that the crowd density in the South Quadrant reached levels that experts said put the, has said to put the audience at risk of collapsing in on itself. And I've seen the videos myself. Um, they, they, it was it was so cruel. It was just too much for me to see this. It was it was so crazy. I just, people like falling just like that because of like how like crowded it was. Honestly, like this is just my own opinion, but like they should have at least like had like limit to how many people instead of just put like putting everyone in, you know, just like squeezing them in, you know. It's not that it's not like they're not like uh, toys to put in in a box and just keep piling it up. It's just gonna overflow, you know. <clears throat> and uh, anyways, uh, it lasted for like a long time when people like found out that people are collapsing. Like um, in the first interview since the concert, uh, Scott last. Scott last week said he did not know that people in the audience were in danger during the concert, he said. Events organizers told him through the earpiece to halt the show after a guest rapper Drake appeared. Scott was not more specific about the message. Drake a performance started about 53 minutes into the show and the concert lasted about another 18 minutes with Scott performing one song after Drake. Um, what's What's even more crazy is that I don't think uh, 
like it's just my own thoughts in head but like I don't think Scott was really like saying that like I don't know if it was really the truth though he said that he did not know that people in the audience were in danger but like a lot of people I saw like other videos where a lot of people uh, were yelling at him saying to like stop the show and uh, I think it was a video of him just standing there doing nothing it, it, while he was just seeing and what made me like think of it is that like either he's like trying to like not be involved or he's trying to like you know um, I, I don't really don't know what he was trying to do honestly he was just standing there and for about this, this happened like for about like an hour until they stopped performance. And what's what's so horrible about it is that like there was nothing people can do. But like in a situation that ever happened again, they should at least like you know have a limit to how many people to like get in the concert. Cause like no more than like 50,000 people does not sound like a good idea to put it in one crowd if they're going to be squeezed to death. Um, after learning that, that's about it so far. The, this, the, the writing was simple. The, uh, the writer uh, did an amazing job in how he found this out. Found out through many people, through, through many interviews and research he found and what happened. This investigation had to be the most craziest event in like history. And I hope you like do more of this. And that's about it. Thank you.